free this psalm, just one psalm, to become untouchable. Untouchable and blessed. What you need to be blessed is for you to be untouchable. As I have always told you, the devil will not fold his hands and allow you to prosper. They will try to fight you. So there is this psalm that you should read to become untouchable and blessed. And no demon, no witch or wizard can stop your blessing anymore. Better than salt. Better than salt. The reason why in most of my videos, I don't talk too much about salt is because many people started using salt in the wrong way. They started idolizing salt. As salt is powerful. As salt can do this. As salt can do that. Instead of giving the glory to God. So I stopped it. At times I still use it. I still pray with it. Anything you pray with should not be idolized. And even if you pray with anointing oil, it should not be idolized. Ah, anointing oil is so powerful. There is nothing powerful about anointing oil. God is the main deal. God is powerful. So you're going to read this one psalm, just one psalm for seven days and see what happens. Psalm 7. I'm going to use the good news version. You can use any version of the Bible that you have. You understand? Let's go. Oh, Lord, my God, I come to you for protection. Rescue me and save me from all who pursue me. This is a psalm for justice. The Lord will rescue you and save you from those who pursue you, who pursue your miracle. Those who have waged war against your sources. The Lord will save you and rescue you. As you read the psalm, you pray with it. Or else, like a lion, they will carry me off where no one can save me. And there they will tear me to pieces. Oh, Lord, my God, if I have wronged anyone, if I have betrayed a friend or without cause, done violence to my enemies. If I have done any of these things, then let my enemies pursue me and catch me. Let them cut me down and kill me. But if you know that you have been bad in the past years, you have done lots of evil to people, you have to skip that verse. Because if you are guilty, that means you are saying your enemies will catch up with you and deal with you. So if you know that you are not sure of your past, then you can skip that verse. Yes. And even if you have offended your enemies, they don't have the right to attack you. They don't have the right to limit you. They don't have the right to stop you. Because they are not your God. They are not your God. Vengeance is for the Lord. Yes. Just jump to verse 6, Psalm 7. After you read verse 1 to verse 2, jump to verse 6. Rise in your anger, O Lord. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Rouse yourself and help me, O Lord. Rouse yourself and help me. O Lord, come and help me in this situation. Tell God what you want him to help you with. O Lord, in this situation, come and help me. Rise up in anger. Make it impossible for my enemies to stop me again. In the name of Jesus, amen. You can pray with it with your own words, okay? Justice is what you demand. So bring together all the people around you and rule over them from above. Yes. Now you jump to verse 9. You are a righteous God and judge our thoughts and desires. Stop the wickedness of evildoers. And reward those who are good. Oh Lord, stop the wickedness of the evil ones against my life. The Lord shall stop the wickedness of witches and wizards against your life. Every area of your life under the wickedness of the evil ones. That wickedness that you will never make it. That wickedness that you will never get a good job. You will never get married. You will never have children. You will never be happy. That wickedness against your head, against your life, that evil arrow. Oh Lord, stop the wickedness of the wicked. Most of you, the reason why you are still in that situation is because of the wickedness of the wicked. The reason why you are still jobless, the reason why nothing is working for you 
you try different things, nothing is working. It's because of the wickedness of the wicked. Oh Lord, in my life, stop the wickedness of the wicked. In my family, stop the wickedness of the wicked. Stop the evildoers. Let their plots be destroyed. Let their charm be destroyed. Let their evil bounce back to sender. Oh Lord, stop every evil activity in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, stop the wicked act in my life. In the name of Jesus. Everything the enemies have done to put me in my problem, to keep me in lack, oh Lord, destroy it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And reward those who are good. Verse 10, God is my protector. He saves those who obey him. God is a righteous judge and always condemns the wicked. If they do not change their ways, God will sharpen a sword. He bends his bow and makes it ready. He takes up his deadly weapon and aims his burning arrows. Yes, God will judge in your favor. God will destroy your enemies unless they change. That should be your prayer. Oh Lord, every enemy... Every enemy who have vowed not to ever allow me to be happy. Every enemy who have vowed not to ever allow me to get my miracle. Oh Lord, rise up in your anger and destroy them. Sharpen your sword, oh Lord. Make me untouchable. God, you are my protector. Oh Lord, make me untouchable. In the name of Jesus, make my family untouchable. In the name of Jesus, amen. You can read the whole of Psalm 7. Psalm 7 is a powerful psalm to be read. You are praying for God to grant you justice. You want God to restore all the years that the locust, the canker worm, the caterpillar has eaten. You want God to restore your wasted years. You want God to stop the wickedness of the wicked against your life. The reason why you are still stagnant. You want God to fight your battles. You want God to release your blessing. Knowing that most of these delays and problems, they are caused by your enemies. God will fight for you. He will defend you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And every of your blessing, be it money, marriage, favor, prosperity, anything at all that you have been praying for, that you have been working hard to achieve, and you have not achieved, that the enemies have been blocking, that they have tied down in their evil kingdom. God will stop their wickedness, and everything they have done will stop working in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything will work out and turn out for your good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Read the whole of Psalm 7. You must not jump any part. Yes, read the whole of Psalm 7, except that part that if I did them wrong, if you know that you are good, you will be good to people, you can read it. But if you know that you don't trust your past, you can jump that part and ask for forgiveness. God will forgive you. He will show you mercy and deliver you. Read this Psalm 7 at 2 a.m. every day for seven days and see what happens. 2 a.m., a powerful time for warfare again. Outside 12, 2 a.m. Read this psalm at this time. And pull the devil in bondage. Read this psalm. Pray with this psalm. 7, 2 a.m. For seven days. And someone will confess. And the enemies will run far from you. And all your blessings being hijacked by your enemies shall be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends, okay? Do this and watch Shocking Miracle. It's time to leave that delay. It's time to leave that stagnation. It is your time to testify. Don't let witches stop you. Pray with this sound at 2 a.m. And watch wonders that will shock you.